Here we'll show you how to draw a ray diagram for a convex mirror. In a convex mirror, this is the shiny side of the mirror. Here is the principal axis going through the middle of the mirror. Even though we don't see the side of the mirror that's not shiny, the right side in this case, the focal point F is still drawn over here in our ray diagram. The 2F point is twice as far from the mirror surface as the focal point, and it is shown here. This point is also called the center of curvature of the mirror C. If the arc of the mirror was extended to become a full circle, point C would be the center of that circle. Here is the object we'll use in this example. It is a yellow arrow in which the top is a point and the bottom is sitting on the principal axis. We'll start by drawing a straight line from the top of the object to the surface of the mirror like this. This ray will reflect off of the surface of the mirror, but we don't know at what angle. To find out, we erase this arrow and draw a dotted line from this point to the focal point behind the mirror. The line is dotted because the rays don't actually travel through the mirror. Then we hold the ruler on the dotted line and extend it with a solid arrow in front of the mirror. This shows the angle at which this ray reflects from the surface. Next, we take a ruler and draw a line from the top of the object to the center of curvature behind the mirror. It is solid in front of the mirror, but dotted when drawn behind the mirror. Rays that move directly toward the center of curvature C travel toward the mirror and are reflected straight back exactly along the same path. When our brain sees rays coming toward us, it assumes they are traveling in a straight line from their source. So these diverging purple and green rays seem to be coming from a source behind the mirror. The rays from the top of the object both seem to be coming from this point, so this will be the top of the image. The bottom of the object is here on the principal axis. So the bottom of the image will be here on the principal axis, directly underneath the top. So now that we know where the bottom and the top of this image are, we can draw in the image, like this. Notice that in this case, the image is smaller than the object. In fact, it turns out that in a convex mirror, the image is always smaller than the object. Many vehicle side mirrors are convex mirrors. Because images in these mirrors are smaller than the actual objects, they look like they're farther away than they really are. So for that reason, many vehicle side mirrors have the warning, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear, printed on the surface. Notice that the image in this example is right side up, not inverted. In fact, all images in a convex mirror are right side up. They are never inverted. Notice that the image in this case appears to be behind the mirror. It turns out that in a convex mirror, the image always appears to be behind the mirror. Notice that the image here is formed by dotted lines crossing, not by real solid rays. This means that the image is a virtual image. In fact, all images in convex mirrors are virtual images. In review, these four descriptions are true for all images formed by a convex mirror. The image is always smaller than the object. It is always right side up. It is always behind the mirror. And it's always a virtual rather than a real image.